That's what I want to watch. What's going right? Uplifting stories. The good news. Good news. Good news. Good news. We hear you. He's just so bluffy. Your stories. I love you. How sweet is that? Things that nurture yeah. my soul. Focusing on greatness from across the country. <laughs> uh, oh my goodness. So sit back and enjoy the lighter side of life. I'm going to grab some coffee. <laughs> right here on Afternoon Focus. A very happy Monday to you. Maybe you're lucky enough to have the day off with today being the federal holiday of Columbus Day. Who knows? Either way, we are so glad you were with us. I'm Julie Grant. And I'm Jay Struberg filling in for Rob Nelson. The top of our feed is out of this world today, also marking the second ever Indigenous Peoples Day celebrating the legacy of native culture in the United States. Right, Jay, and for the first time ever, a Native American woman blasted off into space. Making some history. Yeah, Nicole Mann is a Marine Colonel and is the commander of a four-member team that's now at the International Space Station. She told BBC she took a dream catcher her mom gave her up into space and that she hopes her success inspires other Native Americans to chase their dreams. I don't think she's going to have a problem with that, Julie. That is fantastic. Yeah. Bravo. Okay, and today also, did you know Mark's World Mental Health Day? This is a good reminder for all of us to be kind to ourselves, check in on our loved ones as well, like this teacher who shared a video of how she practices affirmations with her students every day. You what you say? I'm strong. Say it loud, man. I'm strong. Yeah, you are, man. Come on, hood on. Come on, go ahead. Tell him. I'm strong. Yeah, you are. Come on, tell him. I'm not afraid of anything. Anything. That's what I'm talking about. Go. Come on, man. I am smart. Yeah, you are. Come on, girl. I am loving. Yeah, you are. Come on, I can do anything. I can do anything. I Say it with your chest. Right, Jay? <laughs> we all need that teacher. Yes. Like, I wanted to go stand in front of that mirror with those little kids and say some affirmations. That was fantastic. Yeah. And they really got into it. They, like, really embraced oh, the yeah. moment. Self-talk is so important. Positive mm -hmm. self-talk, that is. Oh, you're absolutely right. You're right. You know, how you talk to yourself really affects your mental health therapist will tell you that. I've had my therapist tell me that. You know, be kind to yourself. And, you know, it's it's not enough just to be kind to other people. You have to remember to be kind to Self, you. Yeah, right? self-kindness is very important. It could be just something as simple as, like, everyone messes up, saying, I messed up, not I'm bad or I'm the worst because I right. did that. Don't talk to yourself like that. You know, give it like, I'm, I made a mistake, and right. now let's move on, flip yes. to the positive. So. Yes, it's teacher, so important. Teacher right there. Definitely, to give ourselves grace, right, and not beat ourselves up, and just like we would give other people grace, give it to yourself, too. Yeah, this is great. World Mental Health Day, this yeah. is good stuff. Words of wisdom right mm -hmm. there. Well, advancements in technology have no doubt made all of our lives easier, and a new feature by Google will be taking will be make taking selfies easier for blind and low vision users. The new Pixel phone has improved features that include a guided frame, which uses audio cues to help anyone with visual impairments take the perfect selfie. How cool is that? Oh, that's I don't know fantastic. how this technology works, but it sounds fantastic. Right? Yeah. That's wonderful. That really is. Because, yeah, I mean, I know Everyone's things. Everyone's got to take a good selfie. Right? Uh, yeah, no, and that, that's really. I, Love seeing that technology. It's amazing know? that selfies have really taken over. Can you remember the last time you've actually had somebody say, hey, take a picture for me? Uh, yeah, right. You don't do that anymore. <laughs> it's just like we just all assume that selfies are the way right. we're going now. So <laughs> right. It's Aww. good to help those folks. Though. We love that. Absolutely. Well, our next story is about a man who came to help when the towers fell on 9-11, who came to help when the water rose in New Orleans during Katrina, and who came to help when the earth shook in Haiti. Yeah, he lives in Fort Myers, and when Ian struck, the helper needed help. Our friend Tori Dunnan has the story of love, family, and hope. I started texting these guys. They were asking me, like, updates. Um, and I was like, I, we need to get there. I need to get there somehow to make sure he's, he's alive. It pretty much was, hey, we're about to go do some stuff, some scary stuff. We said, all right. Yeah. <laughs> Whose truck are we taking? When there's a will, there is a way. Friends that are like family, like father, like son. In this story, all the sayings and cliches really are true. 
I had to know he was still there. <laughs> ben Hernandez, a former Army captain. Wife knows the family real well. Um, she said go. And his buddy TJ Wagner, a Riviera Beach firefighter, determined to find Matt's father on Pine Island after the storm. And I think I was probably the most vocal on, this doesn't feel too safe. And everybody said, well, you're going to stay at the truck? <laughs> I said, well, if you're going, I'm going, so let's go. They set out with a group of friends. Without hesitation, they showed up. They had to get to Fort Myers, drop in somewhere. Five of us took off and on a two-hour trek over to Pine Island across open water. Worried about gas, the flat bottom boats they took to stay at the surface. We didn't know what kind of debris would be in the water. The 15-mile round trip. But we had to improvise quite a bit. They took on Thursday and then again with supplies Sunday it was not easy. Started taking on a little bit of water over the front. We had tons of water, so we dumped out uh, Zephyr Hill bottles, cut them in half, and that, that was our bilge pump. So I'm driving. I was, was bailing water the whole time. just bailing water the whole time. <laughs> Eventually, they reached Matt's dad, who ultimately decided to stay and help neighbors. As a urban search and rescue um, medical technician, he always came in after the storm happened, right? He was never the, the person in it. Matt says he still can't talk to his dad much. Service is spotty at best. At least he knows he's alive. He got eyes on him. We heard, I know I personally heard from lots of people, like, you're never going to be able to get there. I'm not taking no for an answer. I mean, talk about a person that is going above and beyond the call of duty mm -hmm. from 9-11 mm -hmm. to the hurricanes. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, right. it's remarkable to watch those people take action like that. It's right. very inspiring. It, it is, Jay. And I was kind of waiting for the point in the story thinking, okay, so this guy is such a remarkable helper, just a, a remarkable giving human being. And then what happened that he needed help? He was helping. He was there helping. He made the choice to stay so that he could help other people. I mean, deliberately put himself in danger, right. in harm's way, took that risk just to be that remarkable helper that he's always been all his life. What a guy. Total selflessness. Like, the attribute, like, if that's mm -hmm. one word to describe that man right there. Right? I, I mean, right, and you don't see that much nowadays, you know, and especially because nobody would fault him for leaving. I mean, everybody was hearing the warnings, go, get out of here, don't right. stay there. I mean, everybody, you know, um, was very concerned all across the country for what was going to happen to those folks who wanted to run the risk. Some for the thrill of it, some just, you know, for whatever reason. But him, no, a very, very noble reason to help other people. I, I, I just, I mean, you, you don't... Going you in don't the face of such, like, like dangerous anymore. conditions as well. It's mm -hmm. just it's remarkable stuff. Mm -hmm. and like we always say, Mr. Rogers says, look for the helpers. Um, I hope I hope that gentleman gets an award or something. At some point in his life, he yeah. really deserves some kind of recognition for, for all that, that work over all these years. Absolutely. Oh, wow. Okay, so we've got so much more coming up for you on today's show. But before we go to break, just a quick reminder that our, ch our company's charitable arm is raising money for Hurricane relief. If you'd like to donate to the Scripps Howard Fund for Hurricane Relief, you can just by texting the word STORM to 50155. Follow the instructions. We've got to tell you every dollar counts. We'll be right back. <laughs> 